Hey guys, uh, Knight here. This is what I look like. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Um, you probably pictured something different about what I look like. So yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I watched the free uh, Microsoft conference and I have information that I've taken down concerning it. And I hope you guys will enjoy watching my review on it. Okay, so I watched the Microsoft one and it was interesting to say the least um some aspects I didn't like um, but majority of it I did like um, first off uh, Metal Gear Solid it, it they're making another one called um, the Phantom of Pain Metal Gear Solid 5 and that one looks actually pretty good it's got Snake, Miller, Ellie, Skullface and so that's going to be very interesting to um, have a look at. Um, what else? Uh, it has a realistic passage of time. The weather changes. It looks really realistic, the weather, from what I saw. As well as free roam and dynamic CQC. So I'm really looking forward to that game. Uh, they also relate information that there is going to be a new Xbox and that was released today so that one actually looks like the Xbox one so yeah that's gonna be cool um, also because of the release of the Xbox one they have released information that they're gonna have um, uh, two free games up from the 1st of April uh, that's going to be Halo 3 and Assassin's Creed 2. So yeah, that's going to be awesome. Um, as you can probably tell, I'm extremely tired. I watched the um, conference at 2.30 and it finished at 4. So yeah, I'm really tired right now. And yeah, so that's why I may be a bit slow. Um, they are also releasing World of Tanks on the Xbox for free. So that's going to be awesome. They're going to release a... Um, Game called Max Curse of the Brotherhood, and that's gonna be it's a bit like Drawn to Life and Dark Souls 2, so that's gonna be awesome as well. So, those are the only games that are gonna be released on the Xbox uh, 360, so that's kind of annoying for those people that love the 360. So, yeah, um, now for the Xbox One. They're releasing a whole bunch of games, and I'm just going to read those out to you right now, and I'll just make comments as I go along, because um, I want to get back to the other conferences ASAP so I can put more reviews up. Okay, so Rise, Son of Rome, it's a um, old-fashioned Roman game, and the graphics look stunning. They really do. Um, it's a third-person shooter, it's a bit like Assassin's Creed, and it's made by Crytek, so it has to be good. Yay for Crytek. Uh, Killer Instinct is another game, it's an arcade game, and it's a Street Fighter game, style game, like Tekken, Cell Calibur, and all those games. So yeah, that's going to be awesome. Uh, Sunset Overdrive, it's made by the creators of Spyro, that's another game being released, it's a first-person shooter style fighting game and it, the graphics are a bit like Borderlands so if you know what Borderlands graphics are like you'll know what this game's like the game that really stood out for me was Forza 5 okay that game looks absolutely fucking amazing I'm really looking forward to that game because it it has all the aspects of new games and the graphics are absolutely beautiful they look Carbon fiber looks like carbon fiber, glass looks like glass, leather looks like leather. You cannot see that in games from the past year or so. So that is amazing. And I'm going to do another video on Forza 5 about more information concerning it because this one looks absolutely amazing and I love it. Minecraft is being released on the Xbox One as well. That one is a given. Uh, another game that's coming out is called Quantum Break and it's a game where you choose a storyline, and it's a bit like, um, uh, what's that other game? Um, Heavy Rain. It's a bit like that, but um, where you choose your own storyline and everything. Uh, it freezes time, and the graphics are amazing. 
Another game that's coming out is D4, and that's a Borderlands style graphics game, as well as a fighter. There's another game coming out called Project Spark, and that's a massive game, and I'm going to do another video on that one because there's far too much information to put in this video. So there's going to be mainly the basics of it. You get to create your own world in it, and you can have other people join you in it, and it's a bit like the program Unity, if you guys have ever heard of it. It's a bit like that, but more basic to use. Uh, they've released information about Smart Glass where you can check your game information and record your game and add commentary. So that would be very cool. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Uh, and it supports Twitch, the live viewing um, internet program thing. So yeah, that's going to be awesome. And it's built into the Xbox One, so that's pretty cool. Um, they are adding where with their new Xbox, you can have unlimited friends, so you're not um, stuck with a hundred friends as usual. So yeah, that's going to be cool. Uh, there's use real currency, so they're getting rid of the Microsoft points, so that'll be cool. Uh, Xbox Share, and I'll get into more details about all the Xbox One program information in another video. Uh, the Crimson Dragon, it's a dragon fighting game, as it suggests. It's very interesting, I like the look of it, and it's a bit like Spyro. Dead Rising 3, stunning graphics, it's terrifying. I saw it, gameplay of it, and it looks extremely terrifying. Um, and it's really realistic. Uh, you can build weapons of, out of anything, you can make Distractions, it's third person and first person view, customization, and free roam, and it's supported by Smart Glass. And I'll explain more information in about Dev Rising 3 in another video. Witcher 3, voice command, not nice graphics, open world, dynamic combat. So yeah, that'll be pretty cool to have a look at. Uh, Battlefield 4, they stuffed up a few times while they were doing the um, video uh, play of it, so that was pretty funny to have a look at. Um, so yeah, um, what else have I got information about that? Um, not that much realistic, same as the other, the firepower the same, and they've released, in the, they've released details about the DLC and not much about the game, so that's a given. It's EA, what do you expect? Uh, there's a game coming out called Below, it's an RPG, it's a bit like Diablo, but a bit smaller, um, and it looks a bit like an arcade game to me. Uh, this company called Black Tusk Studios so released a, like a snippet of a trailer for a game and I'm interested to see what the game is and that's all they've released really. Now, Halo 5. They released information about that. That one is a given and I'm so excited for it because it looks fucking amazing and it's running at 60 frames per second. So that is awesome. A bit like Battlefield 4. I forgot to say that's running at 60 frames a second as well. Uh, it's cloud operated and dedicated servers. So that'll be good. Um, the new Xbox comes out this November and is $450 on the US market. And another game that is coming out is Titanfall. First person shooter, robots, multiplayer, cloud, built like Crisis and Halo mixed with a bit of MechWarrior. So that looks a bit cool. Um, and there's constant action in it. Every time you do something, there's always action in that game. So yeah, that's all the information I've got about the Microsoft uh, conference. I hope you liked this video. Um, hope you could understand me. I'm just trying to rush through everything that was in it within a certain time frame so I can get into the next video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will catch you guys in the next video, which should be the Ubisoft conference. So I'll leave a link right there concerning it and when it's up and I'll catch you guys in the next video and remember to subscribe. Have a good one guys.